Good morning, Classroom 1A. It's time for meeting. Let's go over the details of our day. Yesterday was what? <laughs> what day was yesterday? Yesterday was Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. So, if yesterday was Thursday, then today is what? If yesterday was Thursday, then today is Friday. Yay! It's Friday, which means it's almost the weekend. So if yesterday was Thursday and today is Friday, then tomorrow will be what? If yesterday was Thursday and today is Friday, then tomorrow will be Saturday. Tomorrow will be Saturday, the weekend. So today is Friday. The month is June. What number? What number is it? Five. Yeah, or the fifth. So today is Friday, June 5th, and the year is 2020. Yeah. We're already five days into June. That's crazy. Okay. What season is it? It's spring. Yeah. It's spring, which means after spring, spring has about three more weeks left. After spring, it's going to be summer. Yeah, it's almost summertime. We've got some birthdays in the summer. There's Jessica's birthdays in the summer. Yeah, it's coming up. All right. So, all right, what is the weather like today? Hmm, look outside my windows. You should look outside your windows. Remember, I have two windows, one here and one here. Hmm, and it's not going to look exactly the same outside your house, my house. It's going to look pretty similar but the view might be a little different um, because we live in the same general area, but not the same place. Outside my windows though, it looks like it's pretty sunny outside today. It's sunny. I think it's gonna be warm, not as hot as it's been the last couple of days. Uh, last couple of days have been in the 100s. It looks like it's gonna be in the 80s, yeah. I think about 85 is what I saw. Um, all right, let's go over our classroom rules. Be respectful of yourself and others. You need to respect the people around you. You need to respect all people. And that includes yourself because you're a person. You need to respect people's opinions, differences, choices, body space, personal property. We need to be respectful of the people around us. One great way to show respect is to keep hands, feet, and objects to yourself. You need to be safe with your body. And that includes being safe with yourself. We need to have safe hands, safe feet, safe mouth. Yeah. We need to be safe with the people around us. And we need to be safe with the objects around us too. They're where they are for a reason. And we need to leave them there. <clears throat> Follow the directions of all your teachers. I know you're not seeing your teachers regularly, at least not in person. You might be seeing my videos every day, but 
we don't get to interact with each other and I'm not really giving you directions. But there are people in your life that are giving you directions that you need to listen and follow their directions. Like your parents, your care providers, your respite workers, your family members, any house staff, we need to listen and follow their directions because they ask us to do those things to keep us safe. Always use nice words. We need to be appropriate with our language and with our tone of voice, even if we're mad, even if we're angry. Because if we want people to listen to us, even when we're mad, we need to be appropriate with how we talk to them because they're not gonna wanna listen if we're not using nice words. Always do your best. Always do your best, yes. You do the best you can with what you have. Your best can look different from day to day and from minute to minute, but that's okay. It's okay. As long as you're trying your best with what you have in that moment, that's all I can ask. Depends on how we're feeling, depends on the circumstances we're under, lots of different things. We just need to try our best. Okay. It's a little short today, but let's see how we're feeling. Are you hungry? Do you have a headache? Are you cold? Are you tired? Are you hot? Are you confused? Are you sick? Are you sad? Are you happy? Are you bored? Are you frustrated or are you thirsty? How are you feeling today? You can point, you can use your voice or your device, any means that you have to tell somebody, especially if there's a feeling that you have right now that isn't on this list. Hmm. Good job. How is Miss Jessica feeling today? So many feelings. Okay. I'm a little tired. I'm always tired. <laughs> but that's okay. Being tired means I need more sleep or I need more coffee. I need more coffee. Um, I'm a little bored. Yeah. Uh, my life is so full of the stuff that we do at school. And, um, it's really hard when I don't have the school stuff to do. I'm bored. I don't know what to do with myself when I don't have school with you. I'm trying to find other things to fill my time and that can be hard. Um, I'm sad. I'm sad because I miss all of you very, very much. And I'm disappointed that we're not getting to do our big celebrations that we typically do around this time and all the fun stuff, the birthdays, the graduations. That makes me sad. But when I think about all of you, home, healthy, happy, safe, well taken care of, um, and the fact that we hopefully will get to be together again very soon, hopefully, that this can't last forever, and that when we do get back together, it's gonna be such a great day, and we're gonna have so much fun, and we're gonna learn, and we're just gonna, we're gonna celebrate, we're gonna party hard. That makes me really, really happy. Thinking about all of you and thinking about the future, the future of being together again, that makes me happy. Okay, so I'm gonna do a reading video and hopefully I'll have some videos from your staff to put up today as well. Um, and then I will see you in my videos on Monday. I hope you have a good day today and a good weekend. Happy Friday, friends. Bye.